Welcome to The Wealthiest, where you will learn the ins and out of the world's elite, their way of life and how they use their money. Let's get started. When someone gets wealthy and famous, they need additional security, which is where a bodyguard steps in. A bodyguard is a type of security officer, state law enforcement officer, or enlisted person who safeguards an individual or a group of individuals from danger, typically theft, attack, kidnapping, murder, bullying, loss of private information, threats, or other possible crimes. Typical targets include witnesses, high-ranking government servants or officers, wealthy individuals, and celebrities. The security detail of a VIP refers to the security team that guards them. Protecting those whose lives are in jeopardy or danger is the responsibility of personal bodyguards. They frequently collaborate with well-known people, including politicians, celebrities, and other prominent personalities. In a risky circumstance, personal bodyguards need to be able to think quickly and decide what to do. In order to establish trust with their clients and successfully explain any dangers that may exist, they must also possess good interpersonal skills. In all interactions with the person being guarded, a bodyguard must be trustworthy, discreet, and resourceful while being non-intrusive. The protection of the person being guarded is the bodyguard's primary concern at all times. Whenever interacting with coworkers, a bodyguard should be honest and correct. They put their own safety in jeopardy to defend their clients, but their work entails much more than just standing by their clients. We're going to take a close look at the personal security of the affluent today to see what the job requires, what training is required, and how much money they make. We'll also examine a well-known bodyguard agency to see how candidates are chosen, so let's get started. Number 1. The Roles of a Bodyguard First of all, some people in the industry feel that the term bodyguard implies that they are untrained and overly muscular. As a result, they prefer terms like personal protection specialist, close protection officer, or executive protection agent. After all, one of the biggest myths is that a bodyguard must be enormously large. Celebrities often choose to employ the largest number of people they can find in order to make a point. As a result, as long as the bodyguard has great fitness size is irrelevant. However, in most circumstances, the better a bodyguard can mix into the audience, the less likely trouble will brew. The most crucial components for bodyguards are diplomacy, belief, and communication, as well as being able to speak a second language is a useful tool as such. Whereas most bodyguards may not be at the upper end of the military salary because they aren't frequently engaged in active combat, they still have to be wary. Being a bodyguard requires a lot of patience because most events may go by without any problems, yet at a point in time they may need to act very, extremely quickly. In the US, entry-level jobs in the military started at around $21,000 per year, while at the high end they could be bringing in $190,000. It varies depending on who the client is and the significant threat to their safety. For example, if they are a famous person, the bodyguard may need to alert the overeager press from being too close, while for high-risk objectives they need to discover the area for any potential person with a gun as a precaution. Bodyguards have a variety of roles to cover. They could be a person driving, they might sweep the area for glitches and devices, or perhaps plan the security plan for a client entering the specific building. It's one of the job's biggest potential pitfalls. Graham Dyson, a certified bodyguard, said some start to believe that they are living that lifestyle and not the customers, so they try to act in the same way when they are not earning and end up becoming bankrupt. Dyson served as Benedict Cumberbatch's bodyguard and even appeared as an extra in the television series Sherlock, demonstrating that anything may occur in such a capacity. Number 2. Bodyguard Training To channel your inner Kevin Costner, you may need to obtain a license from the Security Industry Authority in the UK. The Close Protection Training Course can cost up to £1845, $2552, and it lasts for two weeks. It covers surveillance level 3, close protection level 3, first aid, and more. This gives you the bare minimum for the license you'll then need to apply for. 263 bucks or so. However, a bodyguard can participate in hostile scenario training, which teaches participants how to respond in risky circumstances and gives them practice with a range of weapons. This gives us a fee of $3,635 or $5,028 for these courses, which may cost up to £1,600 or $2,213 total. In the US, formal qualifications aren't always required, but they can be. Most towns will require a person to have at least a high school diploma or JET equivalent, but of course, taking courses and getting more training will make the guard much more appealing to private security companies and clients. In Britain, as long as you pass a test and are over 18, you can work as a bodyguard. 
A variety of programs is offered by Executive Security International in Colorado, and T1 of the most intensive is the Ultimate Training Package, which includes lessons in corporate security management, covert protection, executive protection, and more. It costs $23,750 at the moment. As a result, the duty of a bodyguard does require substantial training in order to modify that perspective. When seeking to join a security agency, this type of training is given by the majority of them. Number 3. A Bodyguard Salary In addition to their salary, bodyguards will be able to claim expenditures like food, lodging, and so forth, which is helpful if the client likes to travel to pricey locations. Typically in the market, clients will be charged for the day instead of per hour. There are assistants that do charge half days, but they're uncommon. Bodyguards can work all sorts of working days for long stretches of time. It all varies depending on the client's demands. As a result, in the UK, bodyguards often earn between 500 and 1500 pounds, or 692 and 2075 dollars. However, some services claim that the hourly rate for a 12-hour day is between 40 and 80 pounds, or 55 and 111 dollars. If a bodyguard served every working day in the UK at the maximum compensation, their annual wage would be about three. £382,500 or $529,131. The larger pay often indicates the danger to the bodyguard's well-being will also be significant. However, this isn't typically the case. Last year, it was claimed that a number of affluent London residents hired top bodyguards to take care of their kids. These guards would drop the kids off at school, wait, and then pick them up. Some of these guards were apparently paid up to £150,000, $207,500 per year. Number 4. How to get into Secret Services Functioning with the Secret Services Presidential Protection Section, or PPD, is one of the hugest jobs in the bodyguard industry, but it's extremely difficult to be chosen. In 2011, out of 15,600 special agent people applying, less than 1% were selected. To join, you must be an American citizen between the ages of 21 and 37, with some exceptions made for certain service members up to the age of 40. Agents are background checked and need to have excellent vision and hearing possess a valid driver's license, pass a drug test, and be in good physical condition. They must also complete six months of training, first at a federal law enforcement training center, and then at the James J. Rally Training Center. Currently, the starting annual salary for a special agent ranges from $49,000 to $64,000 depending on experience gained through promotions. Due to the law enforcement availability pay or jump, they may be able to earn an additional 25% of their basic salary, bringing their total income to $154,676. At the upper end, a special agent may make $180,845. This whole thing was about the heroes who have saved so many lives. I sincerely hope you enjoy this film and please share it with others as much as you can. Thank you.